subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. A new study on the link between air pollution and COVID, which is the largest and the most comprehensive analysis so far about this link, found that in places where there is high levels of air pollution, the incidence of COVID as well as mortality is high. In this video, we'll talk about what we know so far about air pollution and COVID and how researchers think that areas with heavy air pollution seem to experience aggravated and more severe cases of COVID. My name is Sandhya Ramesh and this is Pure Science. Air pollution has a well-established link with health issues and compromises to our immune systems. Pollution doesn't improve our immunity, but worsens it. High air pollution can cause a host of respiratory issues, including asthma, bronchitis, and wheezing. Of course, air pollution worsens existing respiratory ailments as well. It contributes directly to disease burden by primarily helping feed as well as trigger cardiovascular diseases, including heart attacks and strokes. In fact, the heart is one of the most affected organs in the body after lungs when it comes to air pollution. Air pollution is also known to shorten lifespan and sometimes even to induce lung cancer. Additionally, we know that air pollution causes patients in intensive care who are on ventilators to prolong the duration that they are on ventilators even before COVID came along. And COVID is a respiratory disease. COVID also affects the lungs and it primarily affects all of the same parts that air pollution tends to affect as well. None of this looks very good for us and especially for people living in areas with high air pollution. There have been many recent studies in recent times that have alluded to this trend of worsening of more severe COVID in polluted areas. A study of COVID fatalities among those exposed long-term to nitrogen dioxide, which is a pollutant released from the burning of fossil fuels, coal, oil, and gas. It analyzed fatalities in Italy, Spain, France, and Germany, and concluded that out of over 4,400 fatalities, around 3,400 or 78% were in regions with the highest nitrogen dioxide concentrations combined with downwards wind flow that prevented dispersion of pollutants in these geographical regions. Other studies in polluted regions in countries like Italy primarily also indicated that high levels of incidence of COVID coincided with areas that have high levels of air pollution. Scientists in Italy were also the first to find out that the virus can attach itself to airborne pollutant particles, although there is still no direct evidence that they transmit this way from one human to another. The analysis of these airborne particles was performed on 34 samples of particulate matter PM10 in February and March. And previous studies have also shown that a wide variety of microbes are experts in hitching rides on suspended particulate matters and dispersing in the air. The study I mentioned in the beginning of this episode was conducted in Netherlands. Netherlands offers a unique opportunity for studying air pollution because According to the authors of this report, some rural areas tend to be more polluted than the environmentally conscious big cities because of large-scale livestock farming. And because big cities are less polluted than rural areas in Netherlands, the opportunity to study this dynamic was unique because most COVID cases in the rest of the world have spread from big cities and this is also known as the big city effect. This research team analyzed data for 355 Dutch municipalities which included over 46,000 cases at the time in early June as well as 6,000 deaths. It found that unusually COVID hotspots were found more in rural areas than in big cities, especially in places where fewer people live together. Media reports had indicated back then that in February and March, there are carnivals in these areas and the carnivals did contribute to the spread of COVID in these regions. 
But the researchers state that even when the data is adjusted for the carnival, there is a potential role played by air pollution caused by livestock farming. These southeastern Dutch provinces that were tested in the study are home to over 63% of the country's 12 million pigs and 42% of its 100 million chickens. Intensive livestock farming results in the production of large amounts of ammonia, which forms a significant proportion of air pollution. Concentrations of this are at their highest in air samples that were tested in the provinces of Southeast Netherlands. The researchers also found that an increase in fine particulate matter concentrations of just one microgram per cubic meter was linked with an increase of up to 15 new COVID-19 cases, four more hospital admissions and three deaths. Livestock farming is a known cause of large-scale air pollution and has a well-established link to respiratory ailments. Livestock includes animals like cows, buffalo, goats, pigs, sheep and many more which are reared for not only meat but also their byproducts such as milk and wool. Some experts are skeptical of the direct impact of air pollution on the spread of COVID-19, stating that socio-economic factors and transmissions through travel patterns could offer an alternate explanation. And the researchers too, in their findings, have said that they haven't managed to establish a causal relationship, which means proving that increased air pollution directly led to worsening COVID, but they did notice a correlation where places that have high air pollution tended to have high incidences of COVID, COVID mortality, as well as severity of the disease. Such findings have been coming from the early days of the outbreak, and many world leaders, such as those in the UK, have already issued calls to curb air pollution in an effort to curb the epidemic in their countries. It is no news that India is also exposed to extremely high levels of air pollution, especially because of India's geography, which causes a lot of pollutants to settle in the northern parts of the country. Indians and the Indian subcontinent is also exposed to indoor air pollution or household air pollution called HAP, with studies and health agencies like WHO pointing out that 98% of India's children are exposed to pollutants inside of their home because of the kind of cooking stuffs that are used. Studies in India too suspect that air pollution might be exacerbating the effects of COVID in some parts of the country and these studies are ongoing. We will expect to get results from these studies very soon. Thank you for watching this video.